I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti is up first with the weather. Well, we are on now storm two of three here. The one that went through yesterday and into this morning has now kicked its way out. A very good storm for us with some good rains and snows. Second piece coming in late tonight and throughout the early morning hours tomorrow. This one, too, packing quite a punch up to a foot of snow in the mountains. Here in valley sections, we're going to get rain snow mixes. And then the third piece comes in late Thursday into Friday and Saturday. This one's the slowest, coldest, and probably wettest of them all. There will be no cuts to teachers or other educators' salaries. That's what Governor Bill Richardson said during his State of the State address that opened the legislature today. Richardson told lawmakers he does not want any cuts in the classrooms either in the effort to fix the estimated half-billion-dollar budget deficit. The governor said he supports raising taxes temporarily but he didn't specify which taxes. He's also pushing for a 3% cut in state government spending, but again, didn't specify where he wants to cut. It's going to take hard work, and it's going to take shared sacrifice. We will need to remember to believe in ourselves and never forget to believe in each other. Richardson also called for consolidating some government agencies and he said eliminating stalled infrastructure improvement projects could save another $150 million. For the second time in two months, vandals have hit a University of New Mexico building that houses sensitive student information. Late Saturday, burglars smashed several windows at the Student Support and Services Center just west of the pit. Inside, they found a cash register, but after discovering it was empty, they threw it through a large window. They caused other damage as well, but fortunately, UNM police say they did not access the information on hundreds of UNM students. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.